Welcome back subscribers and welcome new viewers to January 2023. Can you believe it? General reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, North or South Nodes of the Moon. Okay, and I first want to thank each and every one of you who have subscribed and who like and share my videos because that helps my whole channel to circulate to more and more individuals who are in need of this information just like you. All right, so first off, Cancer, let's quickly go through the transits. First up is the full moon on January 6th, and that is going to be in your sign, Cancer, 16 degrees. So that is a very important full moon for you. And Mercury is in Capricorn right now and will be on this full moon, and that opposes Cancer. And right now, Mercury is retrograde. It went retrograde on the 29th of December and will stay that way until or through the 17th of January. And then we also have Pluto is still in Capricorn, which also opposes you and this full moon. Not close degree, but it still will affect all of you in, in, to some extent. And the it's 27 degrees at the beginning of the month, and then by the end of January, uh, Pluto will be 28 degrees Capricorn. The new moon will be on the 21st of January, and that will be in Aquarius, one degree. And we also have Saturn still in Aquarius, and that begins the month at 22 degrees, and by the end of the month, will be 25 degrees. And Saturn will have a, an influence on the new moon, even though it's not close degree. We still want to watch out for Saturn in Aquarius, which also squares transiting Uranus in Taurus. And that is still a fairly close square. So that is important to watch out for. And we have Venus that is entering into Aquarius on the 4th through the 27th of January. And while that is, while Venus is in Aquarius, it will be trying to transiting Mars, which is in a very nice compatible uh, uh, position for both of those planets. And very, uh, Mars is considered the male and Venus is considered the female. So Venus and Mars are going to be in a very compatible, compassionate, uh, trine placements this month for all of us, which will be nice. Transiting North Node is still in Taurus, and of course that still conjuncts Uranus in Taurus as well, and it's still a fairly close conjunction as well. Last but not least, we have Chiron and Jupiter that are both in Aries. And that's a major deal, especially if you have Chiron, or excuse me, Chiron, natal Chiron in Aries, which is conjunct, or opposition, which would be Libra, or square, which is going to be Cancer or and Capricorn. So any of those, if you have natal Chiron and any of those zodiac signs, then that is going to be a big deal for you because Jupiter expands wherever it's at. And so it will be expanding if that is correct for you, if your Chiron is one of the, in one of those signs. And also you want, you might want to check and see where your Aries house placement is because that's where it will be going. That will be the house that those two, the asteroid and the planet will be going through in your natal wheel. If that sounds right and that feels like you want to check that out, I definitely would. And that is all for the quick updates cancer. 
and so let's get into your reading. And if you are interested in a private reading, or if you are ever interested in a private reading and you would like to have my list of those that I am um, providing, send me an email. Also, if you'd like to know about my book that is now available and you'd like more information on that, send me an email. And I always love to hear from you, your comments, your questions. Send me an email at thecreativewoman369 at gmail.com, which is also down in the drop down box below this video. And I always like to say, Cancer, if this month is not right for you, that is perfectly okay. Because your natal wheel, your placements, and the transiting planets uh, in placing in your natal wheel are always going to be uniquely different month to month. And so you definitely might want to try to look at your ascendant, your moon, or your north or south nodes of the moon for your monthly readings. All right, so Cancer, let's find out what... What is going on for Cancer this brand new year and brand new month? Wow. Okay, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, North or South Nodes of the Moon. For Cancer. Oh, both of these are wanting. Okay, look at that. The first one out is number 23, which, which adds up to be a number five. Either of those numbers could be significant for you. I'm getting possibly your birthday could be on the fifth, or that could be your life path number, number five. And we have choice. Wow. So you have a choice. A choice to make. You have a choice between two opportunities. I just got two, two objects. I also just got the words two house placements, which I'm not sure what that means. Choice. I also got, because I was drawn to the green, there's this lady has a cape on. She has her back to us and that's a green cape and everything is green. I got um, healing modality. You have a choice of a specific healing modality for yourself. Oh, also now I'm seeing you have several paths in this picture. This lady has several paths. She has a choice of which path to take. So, ooh, I just got, for you Cancers, choose your path wisely because you definitely also, sometime this month, you are going to have a choice of what particular path you are choosing to take. Life path, uh, your, again, an opportunity. And so it could be three, two or three different choices. There are three paths on this picture. Take your time. I'm also getting. And then number two, the second card is number 16 and it's exit. And this, it looks like a male figure to me. Doesn't matter because it doesn't matter if you're male or female. This is a female. This is a male. That's either one is perfectly all right. If you are listening, exit. And this person, this male, is riding on a horse away from us. So it's back. Both backs are turned. Which I just got. Cancer, with this choice, you're not going to see it coming, possibly. It's, it's going, it could be a surprise. It could be something unexpected that you do not see about whatever these choices are or each an additional choice I just got for some of you. 
and also with this exit. Somebody possibly might be exiting your life. I just, God, for some of you, and you don't see that coming either. That could become a surprise because this, this man is riding away. His back is also to us in this card. And he is riding towards the sun. So something is being lit up. And maybe someone is exiting your life because they have a new opportunity. And they want to take it because it's their bright it's, it's for their bright future. And that might, of course, could be sad for you. It could be one of your kids I just got for some of you that have children. A male child or a male friend, whether this is your male or female, that is exiting possibly. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, that was a lot from those two cards. Okay, so let's let's see what else. Okay, so let's get a card, at least one card, hopefully, from my soul deck to find out. So it, it, to me, it looks like something is entering your life. So something new is entering or you will be choosing something. This choice you have is going to be something new for you. And then also an exiting. So something has exited or someone has exited or someone or something is also entering. Okay. So for cancer, what else about this? Oh, okay. It's definitely this one. Okay, let's do this one. Okay. Okay, so the first one up is this face. What I'm getting from this face is you, oh, you can't see that. There we go. Is you're going to be shown something is the very first piece of information that came out to me, was brought up to me, came into my mind. I'm being drawn to this, the eyes of this face too. So yeah, you're going to be shown something. Something's going to be highlighted for you. Maybe this has to do with choice or exiting or I'm not sure. And then here is another picture. And this person is sitting down. And again, we can't see his face. He or she is looking. Here's the head right here. And they're looking towards this sun or bright light it's kind of the same it reminds me of a similar picture as oh, there we go this pic oh boy it's really hard the sun is shining bright which i love the sun today but there we go okay so maybe you can see that better they look very similar to me because they both have their backs again and they're both looking towards the sun going towards the sun so this is a lot like the exiting I'm not really getting anything from, from this card, to be honest with you. Not yet. So let's just see what else comes out and um, see what I can get from that. Just a minute here. The only thing I'm getting is I'm just being drawn to, again, to this sun or to this light or 
what this person is looking at and they're kind of looking up and not, you know, away from us looking at the picture. And it's, to me, they're, they're like wishing or there's a dream. There's something that they're wishing for. There's something it, like a bright future is what I just got the words actually bright future. So let's keep going. Let's, let's see what else is going on. Let's see if any of these cards want to come out. This is an astrology deck that I have here. So let's see what else. Get some more information. What else for Cancer? This is rather mysterious I'm getting. And maybe I'm just getting, I, because I'm not getting much information and I just said the words mysterious, maybe that is what it is for you. This is mysterious. This is something that is, we might not get a lot of details about cancer because it's going to play out for you, each of you uniquely and individually, and it's going to be, maybe you're not supposed to know. It's going to be that surprised a lot again with the backs of these figures to us it's being held from you it's like it's mysterious it's it's unknown until it comes up in your life and happens and it's going to this is going to happen sometime now the first through the 31st of January But for some reason, I'm getting bright future with this one. And maybe also, I'm also getting cancer that you, being intuitive, will be able to, or maybe it's about you using your intuition and seeing beyond what can physically be seen in your reality and with, with what's going on. That's what I got with this card. So you go in with your third eyesight, not your physical vision. And you might already know what this is. I just got for some of you. With that being said, okay, okay. All right, so what else for cancer? What else do they need to know about this? And I don't know why this is coming to me, but you see this? The... The, the shape, oh boy, this is really difficult. I'm so sorry. Let me see if I can get it closer. Oops. There we go. Just the shape of all of these, it reminds me of a, um, there used to be a candy when I was a kid, and I'm trying to remember what it's called. They, they were like bottle caps, bottle caps. It was a candy, though. It was a hard candy. A hard, um candies. I think they were called bottle, bottle caps for some reason. I don't know why, but this picture just reminded me of that. I don't know if that has to do with some type of sign for one of you that remembers those candies. I'm not sure. But anyway, just saying that for someone that needs to hear that. Okay, number 40, and this is second house. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, so the second house, astrologically, has to do with possessions, has to do with wealth, has to do with your self-worth or self-worth in general, how you, how you value yourself or 
what you see to be valuable within yourself and our possessions show on the outside how we value ourselves on the inside. And so that has a very much has a part to play for this month for you. And I just got cancer that the choice that is coming to you, whatever that is, has everything to do with how you see yourself and how you value yourself. And so, okay, let me say that better. The choice or choices that are coming to you and what you choose, the path you choose, the opportunity you choose is going to show you how you value yourself. What the value that you place on you. I hope you understand that. I hope I said that succinctly. And I'm being drawn to this red apple, red, it's the color of the heart, red, red apple, red heart, and this arrow is going through that heart. So is this Cupid's arrow? Is this an arrow going through your heart as meaning of a painful situation, a heartbreak situation. It could be either or with this choice and exit, or it could be both. You could have both happening for some of you. Oh, and now I'm just seeing there is, there is a, um, oh boy, what do you call that? Just a second. What you see, oh, maybe you can see, behind this apple, there is, what is that called? Um, when you're playing darts, you want to hit those darts in that circle, whatever that is. Oh boy. Anyway, I, it, the word is not coming to me, but Bullseye, bullseye. You want to hit the bullseye. Something about a bullseye and hitting. Yes. Okay, that makes sense with this choice. And remember I said right at the beginning that take your time and be careful about your uh, about what you choose. And here again, that's what I'm seeing. Wow, okay. This, yours is a more of a puzzle that I am, that's what I feel like, Cancer. This month is going to be, it's a puzzle. It's, it's putting together a puzzle or finding, again, looking beyond your physical sight has everything to do with what is going to be happening with you this month, Cancer. And it could have to do with love. It could have to do with a deep desire of yours, a dream of yours. It's number 40. I don't know if I said that. Okay, so, and then this is number 46, and it is the eighth house. Mystery, and I said that exact word, mystery, way before I saw this card. Okay, and the eighth house has to do with... Yes, it has to do with sexually consummated relationships. So it has to do with partnerships. It has to do with love relationships for you. So something is happening in that area. And the second house and the eighth house, they oppose each other. Do you have your nodes of the moon in the eighth house? Or in south node or north node in the eighth house? South node or north node in the second house? Some of you, you have Chiron there. Some I just got Chiron as well. 
what is in, what planets are in your natal wheel in these two houses as well for some of you. You might want to check that out. So 46 breaks down into a number one, a 10, which could be completion, and also a number one, new beginning. Okay, well, and here we do. We have new choice. This is exactly what we have. Something, you're having a choice about something brand new, and then something's exiting, completing, or has completed. Wow. Okay. Yeah, these both definitely have to do with those two cards. That is amazing. Oh, and second house, the word is resources. Okay. Eighth house also has to do with joint finances. Okay. Something has come to fruition having to do with or is coming to fruition. Maybe a new relationship for some of you. Maybe an exiting, yeah, an exiting and a new relationship for some of you. Because uh, this is eighth house again. Oh, and I just noticed the moon. Maybe some of you, I was drawn also to the skull, which maybe you have completed, you've worked through something having to do with a partnership or you've, you've ended a sexually consummated relationship. And this could be in the past, this could be recent. I feel like more it's the past though because that takes time to work through. And for those of you that that pertains to, this is not gonna be for all of you. I'm getting all different kinds of messages, so I'm just saying all of them. So this particular message has to do with completing a cycle, a relationship cycle, a sexually consummated relationship cycle. Maybe that you've been working, you have been working through that painful heartbreak of this heartbreak, but again, that was in the past. It hasn't just recently happened, but what you have completed is the healing of it. And now, so that's the exit. And then you have a new choice, a new person coming in. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. I just got too that some of you who are together and have been together, you're not single, so that would what I just said doesn't pertain to you, but what I just got for others of you that are together, you haven't been having and and who have been having trouble, I should say. You could be coming back around and ending that trouble and creating something new for both of you. Something new is coming in, a new opportunity, a new choice for both of you to start over. Also is what I got for others of you. And for a few of you, it could be the other way around where you are ending your relationship and that's the main focus right now. But just for a few of you though, I don't see a lot of that because I see more that that is in the past and something new positively is, is beginning for you. Okay, wow, that's really deep and deep. <laughs> okay, Cancer, let's now get in to some tarot. That is, I've spent most of my time on that, but apparently definitely was necessary for you. I never know what's going to come up or what is going to come out or how things are going to play out. But this is very, very interesting for you cancers today. Okay, and this month of January 2023. 
Okay, so let's get some tarot and see if we can get some more details of this choice and exit for cancers. What else do they need to know? Some of your finances, some of you, your finances could definitely be increasing. Maybe because of a new partnership coming in. There you go. Oh, wow, look at that. Three of swords. Three of swords. So this definitely, this three of swords has to do with, with your uh, have, getting, um, having a broken heart and working through that. So let's see what else comes out. Is this currently or is this in the past? It feels like this is in the past for most of you. But some of you could be surprised. I don't want, don't want being the bearer of bad news, but let's see what else comes out though. Okay, so three of swords. Let's see what else. Give us some more. Give us some more details with this three of swords. I need to know some more of this specifically with this three of swords. Why is it coming out now for cancer? What about this three of swords do they need to know? What do they need to know about this three of swords, please? Some of you could find out, could um, find out some bad news. I'm getting that that is um, heartbreaking for you, and I'm not meaning necessarily in relationship. What I was seeing is someone you know, some a relative, uh, a child maybe your partner, uh, something, an accident, I'm not sure, an accident, um, not, I don't see them dying, and believe me, I don't like giving that news, but that's what I have to say when I'm seeing, because this is important for someone to hear. But I'm getting bad weather. There are clouds and then rain or sleet, snow even. Bad weather. And with the swords, the swords has to do with, our thoughts has to do with, um, I got somebody telling you this happening or this, yes, this accident happening. I don't know if it's a car. I don't know if somebody's walking. I'm not sure. Okay, and then the Ace of Swords. Oh. Oh, I am so sorry for whoever this is for, I'm seeing a car accident and someone passed away. And I don't know if this is recent, if this is going to happen or if this has already happened. But of course it was unexpected. I am so sorry. That would definitely be an exit, wouldn't it? So it could possibly be a male that exited this person in an accident. It doesn't have to be, but... So then you're going to have choices. You're going to be faced with choices. Decisions to make. Or you were, maybe this was in the past. I hope this was in the past and I hope, because see with the Ace of Swords, 
after this, that's telling me that it was in the past, maybe this past year, maybe this past, maybe two years ago. Oh, I just got 12 too. I've got the one and the two put together. So maybe this was a long, long time ago. That could very well be. So the Ace of Swords is telling me that with this crown and the, the gold that you have completed that healing you have worked through that healing process and now something new is coming for you oh i like that and you're being crowned it's like this was a huge deal of course of course for you to have to work through and you were in i just got that puts you in the dark night of the soul but you're now being crowned because whatever that forced you to go through has increased you, has made you more of who you truly are now. It's increased you in some way or many ways. That's beautiful. What else? So regardless if this, it didn't have to be the accident for the rest of you, but something was heartbreaking. You went through some type of heartbreaking situation, which we all do, of course, but you have completed it. You've completed it. And you're coming out as this ace of swords. The You're coming out on top. You're being crowned. King or queen. Mastering. Mastering that healing for yourself. And way stronger, way wiser than you were before, before this. And that's why, that's the positive that you now know and you have taken with you from this horrible situation, this horrible heartbreak. But you are now stronger and wiser in every way. And you have the ability to love deeper. You have the ability to love deeper. Wow. I just... The word authentically true love true love oh that's beautiful and you are so grateful you are so thankful or you will be especially with if this is someone new coming in yes and even if it's not for those of you two who are still together it's the same feeling of um, renewed vows I got, renewed vows for you too. And you're very grateful and thankful that both of you went through and were forced, of course, to go through what you had to go through because now you see the significant in it. Both of you see that. Or again, if that's two of you still together and you singly, if you are single. Yeah. You had a lot of heavy, heavy responsibility on you for a time, especially working through that heartbreak, working through that, regardless of what the circumstances were for you. And you will always, you carried that burden with you is what I got. And, and of course you have scars and you will always have those scars that you will carry with you. But now you can carry them more like a badge. Uh, and every time, if it's a physical scar in your body, every time you see that, 
you are grateful and thankful. Thankful that you went through that and, and are on the other side and especially thankful for who you are now and the knowledge, the wisdom, the strength, the compassion that you have gained inside. And look at this, four of wands, a celebration is coming because you You've done it. You've completed something just like number 10. You've mastered. You've gone through that mystery. You have propelled yourself forward even in spite of during those times when you didn't want to. You didn't think you could you now are triumphant. I just got you are triumphant. And you're going to be celebrating them. There's two people there. It's not just you. That is beautiful cancer. I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy for you. And you get to look forward to a lot of sunny days ahead beginning this month. Okay, so let's see. Oh, wow. I am almost my, I don't know if my video is going to stop, but this was a very unique reading for me. And hopefully this has helped you cancers. And that's all I have. That's all I have. That's all I can do this month. Big, deep stuff. So again, Congratulations, and I'm so proud of you, and I'm so happy for you. Until next time, bye.